Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Victoria 3 as Canada. We are currently just the Hudson Bay Company, but we will be forming Canada hopefully relatively soon. Uh, there's a little bit of action going on in our continent. Looks like uh, Mexico is going after the Apache over here, and we'll be swallowing them up pretty soon. And I believe the United States of America has swallowed up some of their, uh, their colonies uh, pretty quickly. Um, probably there was a native uprising, and then they just went and booped them. Um, which they shouldn't have too much of a problem about. You know, they got some troops. Even us, we only have two battalions uh, of actual organized troops. Uh, and actually, can we not do conscripts at all? Apparently we cannot currently. Eh, that, that actually might be slightly scary with just the two, but I, I think we'd actually be fine. We do have an event coming up, the uh, cross-border investment. Industrialists are interested in making investments in neighboring Columbia industries. So option one, uh, does improve our relationship with the Columbia District, which is something ultimately we are going to want so that we can absorb them. It gives Columbia District a boost to their manufacturing tax income. Or we can keep it internally. It will upset the industrialists, although I believe they love me a lot right now. Plus 12. Oh, it would dip them below plus 10. Um, it would give us manufacturing tax income, so we'd tax the one food processor a little bit more. I'm going to say the excellent investment is fine. I don't want to upset the industrialists right now, and actually boosting relations with Columbia District is kind of helpful. And speaking of, we actually maxed our relationship with, I believe, Great Britain, because these are the Canada's, right? Yeah. So um, with Great Britain, we are amicable, which is plus 50 over here. So that's what we need. We need that, plus we need nationalism, plus we need friends uh, with the rest of Canada and a higher GDP. But we are on our way to be able to start absorbing things. But yeah, we may as well improve relations with, um... Oh, I don't... Th oh, we're already amicable over here. Okay, never mind. Maybe that was uh, completely redundant. But let's go with, uh... We'll start with New Brunswick then. Get them and then soon... Oh, the, yeah, our relationships are pretty good overall. But yeah, we can throw some more in with Nova Scotia as well. Again, later on, these will be one state. I think it's just the state of, yeah, New Brunswick itself. Don't think these are two separate states later on. Yeah, split states. It's just the one state in New Brunswick. Poor Nova Scotia doesn't even count as its own state later on. I'm so sorry. All right, yeah. So we have slight negative authority. I'm fine with that. That's not really breaking us. We're building a bunch of lumber. Actually, we're nearly done our lumber mill production. Uh, we're throwing an extra one in Yukon. And we still have some money banked up. So we're going to want to keep going with more production. Let's take a look at the market and see what the prices are overall. Hardwood's still very expensive. Glass is fairly expensive as well. We could consider building a glass works. Um, that would currently consume wood to make glass. And later on would add in, I think, coal and then lead. Uh, but uh, glass early on could be fairly profitable. We could probably expand our food producer by an extra step as well. I'd love to build transportation. That's, that'll be railroad later on. So we can't do that. I think we have 8,000 people. Yeah, we're going to expand the food industry. It says it'll lose money. It's not accurate. It might, might be partially based on waiting for enough um, uh, enough people with the, the right qualifications, but I think that's going to be fine. And I'm going to increase the logging camp in Ontario by a notch and in Quebec by another notch as well. Oh, we unlock nationalism. I didn't realize we were so close. That's wonderful. So there's a few other things we'd like. So again, I'm not going to worry too much about production over here um, because we don't have that many things that are going to help us with our current industries. Um, we are going to get some mines at some point, in which case a few things will be useful. Atmospheric engine already unlocked. Fractional distillation actually is something for the food industries, the patent stills. Um, and then baking powder is another food industry boost. Whether or not it's something that's actually going to be useful for us short term, I don't know. I am considering more society research for a few different things. Um, first of all, we are going to be like bouncing into debt a lot. So central banking with the loan interest decrease isn't bad for us. Um, modern sewage isn't going to matter for us too much right now because we don't have that much population. But we'd get a little more infrastructure in places, which is going to be nice. Uh, dialectics gives us an extra level of education investment. That's really tempting right now. So they can boost our literacy as quickly as possible. Um, and more education, more innovation, better tech rate. That's really nice. Um, I'm considering pharmaceuticals. That way, if we do that, we could run either private or public health care, which is going to be great for our mortality rates. Um, but it also leads to quinine, 
which gives us more colonial affairs institution investments so we can colonize a little faster. That might make a big difference for us. I'm also thinking long term, or rather medium term, we might do some attempts to colonize in Africa, in which case we're really going to want to go down this branch to civilizing mission and then to malaria protection because um, mal malaria dramatically cuts down our ability to colonize. And so eliminating that opens it up a lot. Um, but part of me also wants to get organized sports because we're Canada and that seems to make a lot of sense. I don't think there's much benefit to us. I don't think the 10% prestige boost is really going to do anything. It doesn't even lead to any other tech, but, 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 but Canada, I think I'm going to grab pharmaceuticals first, but I'm very tempted about the organized sports, even though I don't think it makes much of a difference. Yeah. It gives us 10% more prestige, which will actually have a big impact when we do. Oh, there we go. Appalachia was eaten up. Or, sorry, Apaches. Um, when we do... Oh, there we go. Confederate Canada. We can do that now. It gets us plus 50 prestige. So the 10% boost at that point would actually be, you know, would, would make it even stronger. But I don't think it matters much. We're going to hit this button. We don't know which one of the Canadas we will absorb here. I don't know if there's a rule or if it picks it completely randomly from the set that it can. But yeah, anyone we have more GDP then, which should be everyone because we got a million GDP right now. And I suspect... Ontario is at about 700, 700, uh, BC, yeah, 300, and then uh, the news over here are going to be even lower. Um, and as long as we've got Amicable, which is not everyone currently, actually, because I guess it's going to be Columbia District. That I think that's going to be the only one that can do it. Yeah, I think we're going to get Columbia District. There we go. So Queen Victoria signed into law, confederation between the Hudson Bay Company and Columbia District. Marks a great victory in our goal of unifying all of Canada. Blam. So we now have uh, three, or, well, four more states, actually. British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Now, we can also start colonizing in Idaho over here. Uh, diplomatic lens is an easy way to do it. So we can start doing that. I'm not going to right now because our colonization rate is divided based on how many colonies we've got going on. And I'm hoping, yeah, we're above the minimum. I think it's a minimum of 0.2 right now. I don't want to spread it. I really want to try to keep this going as quick as possible. Um, in fact, part of me is like, it'd be great to cancel some of these efforts. If we could just focus these guys over here to cut off America from expanding colonially into this would be great. The problem is if you cancel the colonization, it returns the entire state to that uh, colony. So we'd lose all of Saskatchewan to the Iron Confederacy, I believe. Um, I did try it with here. Once I, I started a colony here and then cancel it, and I lost all of Idaho to the Nimipu. So don't want to do that. We can check now and confirm that incorporating Washington would take 20 years because we have no, um, uh, no cultures in common. British Columbia would be fast because we've got Anglo uh, Canadians here. It would only take two years, but we don't really have a lot of bureaucracy available right now. So I'm just going to have to hold off a scooch before doing that, but it will be a priority. We've got 900 or 90,000 people in here that we'd love to tax. It represents 11% of our GDP. So yeah, we'd, uh, we'd like uh, that to be incorporated, but not quite yet. Still, that's good. And now we've got for the next few months, Canadian unifier bonus to prestige, but we can't hit the Confederate button again while that is running, so we're going to ignore that. We have never actually looked at our leader. He does support the industrialists, and he's a moderate. He's Scottish. George Simpson. So the industrialists are getting a bit of a boost from that. Uh, okay, bureaucratic struggle. This is for appointed bureaucrats. Okay, if we ran this, we'd lose some of our bureaucracy. We'd lose 10%. Which currently, it, so we, we have 100 bureaucracy, so we'd lose 10. We would be in a slight deficit, but dramatically cuts down enactment time and increases success. If we do as long as it takes, gives us bureaucracy, which is fine. It increases our construction efficiency. It slows it down, but still increases the success rate. Yeah, I don't want this. Um, this is tempting. Because we'd be sitting just under one bureaucracy. But we would definitely lose some tax income from that. We could probably tank it. Hmm. Yeah, good and fast. Good and cheap. Cheap and fast. Choose any two, right? Yeah, they're right there. Good, fast, cheap. You get two. Um, I think I'm okay with maybe slowing it down. 
I'm not rushing necessarily to get appointed bureaucrats. It wouldn't be bad, but it's not a big deal. Hey, Central American people are migrating to Washington, which again is one of our places. So a bit more bureaucracy gives us a bit more state construction efficiency. That's great. You'll note that I am not using the um, auto build, like automatic expansion. This is actually not a bad tool. We've got livestock ranches now because they had some over here. This is not a bad tool, but it wouldn't be great for us because of our population cap. Looks like we also pulled in more um, uh, uh, lumber companies, which have to be set to hardwood production. Every time we pull in a state, we should double check the status. We could go to canneries. It's probably fine, but I'm kind of tempted to wait a bit more. Oh, right, we can do skirmish infantry now. Yeah, I'm going to go and switch to that. Oh, and the intelligentsia absolutely adore us. I forgot they're so high. I can cut the government wages a little bit more. Right now, we're making money despite constructing. I could build another um, production place. I think what I'm going to do is cut back on taxes slightly. Just to keep the radicals and things under control, increase quality of life, which will lead to more immigration, more happiness. Okay, this is a, this is a hmm, politically and historically very, very, very weighty question here. Let's just look at it from a gameplay point of view. So we have um, we have mi mi minority Cree people in our nation. They are currently discriminated, which is why we get this event. Um, so we have option one in our schools. We could teach them to speak the proper language. What this will do is will increase the, the assimilation rate. So Cree will assimilate into one of the accepted cultures faster. Well, actually, it's going to assimilate everyone faster, right? Hitting this button immediately makes some of the Cree radical. But in addition to that, everyone who is currently discriminated against will assimilate faster, but will get more radicals from that. Or we go to option two, which uh, the intelligentsia like, but they already love me. So it's not something we necessarily have to look at. It will also disappoint the Petit Bourgeoisie and the Anglican Church, uh, both of which are currently marginalized. Although the Anglican Church, Anglican Church is growing, um, but it's not a big deal. This will slow down assimilation, but also reduce the radicals from discrimination, which currently are the biggest source of radicals in our nation. But we don't have that many radicals. <sighs> From a gameplay point of view, I think right now, this is the correct button to hit. Uh, because I think we'll appreciate the assimilation rate more. And we're not worried about the radicals currently. Just from a gameplay point of view, we're going to go hit that button. I think if we do enact like multiculturalism and have no discrimination anymore, then um, <laughs> no official discrimination. Who knows what else might happen in like, you know, a local level. But um, I think we don't get that event anymore because that only happens to pops that are discriminated against. All right, constructing, yeah, slight deficit right now, which I'm fine and happy with. Oh, I can declare an interest. Really? Am I big enough for that? I am a minor power now. Yeah, rank 20. I think what helped is that the, we're currently running that plus 50 prestige kind of thing. So where do we want to declare interest? Well, so wherever we have an interest declared, we can have political interaction with those people. Um... Also, we have we can have political in, interactions with anyone else who has an interest declared in the same region. Basically, we you know we open an embassy there and we can talk to people. Um, we can also have political interaction with anyone who has an interest in one of the places that we're locked in. So all this like golden area, this is like free automatic interest because we are present, right? We own territory in here, so we don't have to declare an interest. Um, to do colonization, you do have to have a declared interest. So long term, I think we're going to do some shenanigans over here, or at least try. For now, I'm just going to click here, which I don't think is actually going to change the situation, because I think we have lots of overlapping stuff anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. And yeah, I can still establish a colony over here, but I'm going to wait because I want to try to improve this. I'm hoping the U.S. is taking as much time as possible with these three native groups, because if these three get eaten up, the U.S. is only going to be colonizing over here. And they're going to be doing it stupid fast because they're a massive population. And we're going to lose parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan. We have to be ready to assume that's probably going to happen. Oh, we got our appointed bureaucrats. Uh, so the landlords have lost the thing that was giving them plus 25% more political strength. The intelligentsia are gaining it. Um, we get more political taxation capacity, which doesn't matter to us. So taxation capacity is over here. You get a certain amount as a base. And then you, you use some of it based on, you know, how many pops you've got. Which right now is ridiculous. But in some nations, this is a huge problem. For us, it's not going to be a problem for a long time. So we didn't really need that. But I'm happy I'm happy to shift the power from the landowners to the intelligentsia. 
Um, we could consider looking at more law changes. One thing overall, it wouldn't be bad if the trade unionists get more powerful over time. Uh, although I guess these, this is just for approval, not so much power. Uh, and right now they can't influence these votes currently. Um, because they're not in government, they're not supplying their own power, which is why all these have zero. The only ones that we're going to be able to pass that the trade unions like is something that someone else likes as well. I do want one of the suffrage laws, for sure. Landowners are still too powerful, though. I don't think we can upset them that much. I still want propertyed women. This is still going to radicalize them. Okay, poor laws don't radicalize anyone. And yeah, the industrialists really love it because they get a bunch of cheap labor from the people we're forcing to work. Oh yeah, that's right. We can do a census suffrage. It still radicalizes the landowners, though. I could consider, if I cancel some things that are costing my authority, I could start suppressing these guys. But mostly I think we need to just keep switching our population to fewer aristocrats. Fractional distillation. So this is another change we could make to our food industry. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure focusing on groceries is where we're going to make the most money right now. And that is the case. Right now, switching away from some amount of groceries to liquor would cost us money. So we don't want to do that. Canneries would currently lose us money. That's why I didn't switch to it right away. I'm like, I think, yeah, you can see the iron price has gone up and actually will go up even more if I switch to this. I mean, this is two, two food industries now. So we do two canneries. Maybe I could do one and not have the price of iron crash. But iron is becoming a bit more of a of a sore point. So we should consider starting some iron mines. Now, a lot of the iron mine upgrades are going to require coal to run. See, this is predicted to be unprofitable, and I suspect this might be accurate currently. Um, although this is with the base tech. I'm going to start an iron mine in Quebec. We do have a few techs unlocked, not that we've researched. But yeah, atmospheric engine... Well, I guess that's it for now. Although mechanical tools is something else. No, it's not something for our minds. Never mind. But yeah, I think we can probably make that iron mine profitable in Quebec. Short term, I suppose we could also subsidize it, but not looking to do that. Still working on this logging camp. How's the hardwood price? There's now a actual shortage of explosives in the British good. It can't possibly buy everything it wants. Hardwood is still pretty valuable, so our logging camps are still great. Plus, what's going to happen, I think the hardwood prices are actually going to get... There's there, there's a good chance there's a shortage in the British market at some point, because uh, shipbuilding will start to use more and more hardwood. So I think there's always going to be a pretty good demand for, for lumber mills. So I'm likely going to want to go ahead and build more. Um, again, I'm going to focus on places that already have it. And have some spare peasants. And ideally are part of our group here. Of our, um... Hmm. Incorporated states. Alright. Let's build another one in Ontario. Yeah, we're starting to run into some limits of actual people here. Low market access in Manitoba. Oh yeah, you have no infrastructure. Um... You will get some from Pop. If we can do road maintenance, it'll give you plus 25%, which actually I don't think will be quite enough. Now, that's not the end of the world. This means, so they're forced to sell 23% of their goods, no matter what, to the local market, which probably isn't as profitable, which is one of the reasons the food industries and logging camps in Manitoba are not going to make as much money. Other than running this one policy, uh, and mm, I suppose to a very minor extent, getting something like modern sewage, there's no real way for me to build up infrastructure in Manitoba until we get railroads, which we might want to get soon. Oh, because we took the economic, uh, like, quote unquote, sort of tech tree or whatever, the economic dominance here, we do have, like, the thing, hey, why don't you expand your iron mines in Quebec? But it doesn't give us anything for just completing it. Path to liberalism, yeah, if we ran one of these suffrages, would be good. Farm to factories just means, at this point, not having peasants, which hopefully soon. Let me pin this to remember that this is something I probably want to do. Oh, yeah, the landowners are so pissed. They want me to restore hereditary bureaucrats still. They've got 15% clout. 
They've gone up. I am going to have to suppress these guys, aren't I? Ugh. All right, we've unlocked pharmaceuticals. Uh, Central Archives is about to finish on its own, and it's not going to give me anything I immediately need. I'm tempted to just go Quinine, so we can invest more in Colonial Affairs, although we are going to need more bureaucracy. Oh, the Central Archives actually do will also unlock the Central Filing System for Government Administration. I might have to build a Government Administration. I think I do. I think we're, we're kind of limited on bureaucracy. I'm going to do that just because it, it, it helped finish it a little faster. Um... Do either one of these states, Upper Canada or Lower Canada, already have a government building? No, although Quebec does have a university, which is going to increase the rate at qualifications. Quebec might be the ideal place for that, and it currently does have a few more peasants. I'm going to build a government administration in Quebec. These always lose money, um, because it's just a cost, but... First of all, if you go negative bureaucracy, you get tax waste. So in that way, the government building can help you make money. Uh, but then also more bureaucracy gives us more power for, well, eventually trade routes. But right now it's going to be incorporating stuff, which should increase your tax base. So yeah, Central Archives is going to finish really fast regardless of what I did. There's a bunch of strong... This stuff... Mm. Could go baking powder. What does this do? Consumes more grain, more sugar, but generates a ton more groceries. It does have to hire a bunch of people, but there's a good chance to make us a bunch of money. I am thinking of getting quinine. I'm, I'm going to do that and just hope that we can boost our, our colonization rates a bit more. Oh, percussion caps. That's interesting, because we could consider building munitions factories. Oh, this event. I have no way to open our canned food. This is true. Canned food, like, yeah, canned food was invented before the can opener. We could spend a ludicrous amount of money for five years to try to develop the can opener. I'm just going to say this. The armed forces aren't going to love me. In fact, they just went back to the point where military goods costs have been increased. I don't think we're spending much on military goods. We could make the um, armed forces like us a little bit more by increasing their wages, but I'm fine with things as is. Oh, okay. We are losing great power rank. Why is that? Well, because we don't have as much prestige as we did. Why is that? Oh, it's because we lost our Canadian unifier trait, which means I can hit this button again. Boop. And now Upper Canada, that's the rest of Ontario, is now part of our nation. Beautiful. Okay. That is great. Let's um let's go to my global building screen here. And Oh, we have an urban center. Nice. We should be able to yeah, make some changes. Okay, what's an urban center? Every time you build a building, especially an urban building, each urban building contributes to urbanization of the state. When you get to a certain amount of urbanization, it automatically builds an urban center, which produces services by consuming goods. Um, and we've got some different modes we can switch there. And so clearly switching the market squares makes us more money because it's producing more services. Although it is eating glass, which is very expensive. We might want to build a glass works. Uh, we're also going to use gas streetlights here, which increases services even more. It consumes some coal, which is on the pricier side but we can build coal mines to balance it out. Keep in mind, us building one coal mine may not dramatically change the price in the entire British market, which is what determines this. And we are currently working towards our government administration here. We are going to want to run standardized filing system to get as much bureaucracy as possible. So we're going to do that. It's going to consume more paper, but that's going to be okay. It, it told us there's no price difference right now because this building is not actually built. So it's not immediately making a change, but we're going to let that keep going. But yeah, we have a bunch more people. Our GDP just grew some more, which is lovely. It might have some implications about our... Oh my god, landowners are getting more and more potent. We probably just pulled in a ton more of the people. So you can see here, the landowners currently are made up of mostly aristocrats, also clergymen, some farmers, and a few other things over here. So some of these types of pops are more likely to support things. Aristocrats are pretty heavily linked to landowners. So anything we can do to reduce the amount of aristocrats that exist, the better. Um, and that is going to happen as we urbanize more and um, different like different financial mechanics and things like that for the buildings as well. We'll change those. Right now, yeah, we still have a lot of landowners and they would really like to go hereditary bureaucracy. I'm, I, I really can't piss them off. They're the biggest group in our government. Oi!
boy. But hey, we're making tons of money. Well, we're not constructing anything right now. Okay. Let's consider, again, where we might want to be. Ammunition, very expensive. We could build a munitions plant. Although, that would consume explosives, which we are currently not producing. Might still be profitable. I'm actually wondering about glassworks, though. We have a bunch of control over things. That's tempting. Also, um, as we go into our food industry... Um... No, not here. Uh, oh! There we go. If we get it to patent stills, it consumes glass. Which right now is super expensive. I think if we made glass cheaper, I think this would be profitable. Yeah, glass is so expensive. I think we will probably look at building a... Glassworks. Hmm... We won't be taxing in Washington or Idaho. Although, our, our bureaucracy is going to be going up here, so we can do a bunch of integration. Uh, it'll take a long time to integrate here, but we'll want to do it. Um, it'll be profitable for them, and it will like help to regulate the glass market overall. Quebec just doesn't have enough workers. I guess I might, maybe I should just build an Ontario for now. Hmm. Yeah, the wages are a lot higher. Screw it. Washington Glass Company. Let's get one started. And if we come over here, state actions, incorporate states. So I will work to incorporate these first. Uh, they're not a lot of people, but uh, they do incorporate super duper fast. Oh, actually, maybe I should have done BC. In fact, I probably will be able to start it because bureaucracy is still going up because it's still hiring more workers. Yeah. Uh, we're going to incorporate BC. Negative currently, but it's going to fix itself real fast. As we develop more bureaucracy and as these guys start to work, yeah, we're going to be fine. If we take a look at our... Oh, no, I built in Quebec. That's right. Government administration here. Oh, it is fully employed. Yeah, costing us money. We've got a slight bureaucracy deficit, so we're losing a little bit of taxes. But overall, it's okay. And tax waste is bad. This is not people not paying taxes. This is people have paid taxes, and then we just lit it on fire. So it's like, it's bad for our pops and it's bad for the government. But yeah, it's basically nothing here and getting better. We're gonna be a-okay. There's still nothing that um, the landowners are interested in that we possibly want to run. Well, a proper police force wouldn't be a bad thing. We'd have to get the armed forces or bourgeoisie or landowners in government have support for it though i suppose we could we could i could put the landowners in government oh with lower legitimacy really maybe just too many people in here i want to leave these guys in for sure but no political parties maybe because of our um <laughs> our current autocracy do we do we even not get do we not have elections Oh, we always did. I don't know. If we put them in government... Then they would support the laws they're interested in. We could decide, hey, let's throw in a police force. Which they'd be okay with. The problem is they're kind of contrary to absolutely everything else we'd be interested in running. Surf them. No, I don't want any of those taxes. Yeah, they don't want any women's light rights. They don't want any free speech. Just kind of disagree with it, you know, on, strongly on principle. But I think it means. Oh, I could I could run public private health insurance. Now, minus zero percent mortality per wealth might be a paradox rounding thing. I would much prefer public health care. We'd have to kick the industrialists out of government and pull the trade unionists in to be able to do this, though. I don't think I'm going to do any law changes right now, because I think everything's a little sticky. Are we making money while building? 
found an investment pool. Okay, I think we've got enough here. We're gonna get another construction sector. I'm gonna build an Ontario so that we can get um, uh, the uh, efficiency of scale thing. So this builds very quickly. We're gonna get a second one. Again, for every construction sector, we have to have the construction people employed permanently no matter what. They always cost us that money. And then also we're going to be, you know, burning through more goods faster here. So we'll run more of a deficit while we're constructing, but that's okay. Because we want to construct, we want to make more money. Okay, mechanical tools just unlocked. We do have some, some livestock ranches now, actually. And it leads to railways, which actually is going to be really good for us. Yeah, slaughterhouse is here. Uses more tools, but generates more meat. It's only a slight profit, but I think this is going to be fine. Iron mines, oh, can be upgraded to the atmospheric engine pump. So it's basically break even right now. Um, and because we're not currently producing coal or tools, these prices might get a little out of control. I don't think it's worth making the change currently. Same thing with the sulfur mine. Although it predicts it'd be more profitable. Potentially because of the price of sulfur. I'll feel better once we've actually got something that consumes sulfur, though. Uh, we do have a furniture manufacturer. Ooh, precision tools. Does hire more shopkeepers. Consumes more hardwood. Which, actually, the price on hardwood isn't insane anymore. And we are producing a good amount of hardwood, and we'll probably produce more. Uh, I think we've got pretty good control over this. It's just tools that we don't produce right now. Okay, we can do precision tools there. That's going to be okay. Glass work. If you move to lead glass... Oh, it's not built yet, so we're not getting good numbers about things. I'm going to wait till that finishes. Still losing money there. Cannery is still basically nothing. Cross-border investment. Well, this makes Great Britain like us a lot more, and they make a lot more money. Um, industrialists. Ye Ooh, yeah, they're not at plus 10. I mean, I could afford to upset them a little bit and get money domestically. Thing is, I don't mind Great Britain making a bunch of cash, because we still want to use them as maybe an attack dog later on. But I think I'm going to do the strong arm. Increase my tax income from manufactories. I still really want to run one of these suffrage things, but yeah, landlords are way too powerful right now. And we have to move to more of an industrial slash urban um, economy for the landowners to kind of become weaker here. Jeez. Or... Distribution of power... Yeah, this dramatically increases the political strength of aristocrats. I forgot about this. Although, they're going to get super cranky if I move away from any of these. But they won't become... Okay, oligarchy, they oppose, but don't become radicalized. Land vo uh, voting, they don't even oppose. Okay, this is actually a great idea. Okay, wealth voting radicalizes them, and south... Let's... What if we go to landed? All it does is make people happy, and dramatically weakens the aristocrats. Uh, okay, no, they still get... Plus 50 political strength. But so do the capitalist clergy and officers. Okay, this is going to dramatically empower the army and the uh, religious faction, the Anglican church. But it does boost capitalists. I really want to run this. Okay, for now, this might be the best thing for us to do. It still keeps the aristocrats powerful, but it should dilute it because other people are getting involved. And actually, short term, I don't mind the church getting more powerful. If we pull them into government, they can support um, charity healthcare, which isn't the ideal, like long term, but it's still certainly better than what we've got. Uh, the Anglican church is really pissed, so we've got a decreased education access. I don't like that. Yeah, they're no longer marginalized. Trade unions are kind of okay with us. Manufacturing industry throughput boost is really good. And yeah, if we increase this all the way to solidarity, we can get a workforce ratio boost, so we'd have more workers. Okay, nothing is constructing. Again, let's take another look at the market situation. What What is this? Oh, lead. Oh, we don't produce lead. Glass is still pricey. Explosives. Should we invest in a... Why can't I see the chemical? Oh, is that something we need to unlock? 
Does it build the arms industry? Oh, it only consumes... Oh, right. It consumes iron and hardwood to make small arms. Right. I'm thinking the munitions plant. Munitions plant's over here. Which consumes explosive and lead to produce ammunition. Well, lead's expensive, explosives are expensive. So that wouldn't be a huge winner right now. Yeah, it would lose tons of cash. Tools industry is interesting. Consumes wood, produces tools. And we're going to want more tools to keep our economy healthy. Right now, it's not crazy crushed, though. Right, we still have low wages over here, but I think I'm going to wait. Okay, furniture manufacturing. That actually sounds like a pretty decent idea. Furniture values, pretty high. Luxuries on the high side. We know hardwood is still pricey, but it's controllable. I and mean, we can use this, like, we, and we've got, you know, we can build more lumber mills, so, to control that. I think I like the idea of another furniture factory. So we'll build that in Ontario. It's quite profitable right now. And then we'll get the economy of scale for throughput. We'll probably need more logging camps. How's the iron mine doing here? That's yeah, doing pretty good. Theoretically would do better doing this. Again, I'm a little concerned about the price of tools and coal. All right, I'm gonna go and make the switch. Yeah, there's gonna be a, an employment swap over here. But we're gonna be okay. All right, Ooh, against the odds. Despite not enjoying full rights under Hudson Bay law, some wealthier Athabasca people have begun moving into neighborhoods and frequenting establishments that would normally be excluded from. Uh, need new regulations to keep the peace. This would dramatically increase radicals from discrimination. Or they've fairly earned a success with all it entails. It'll upset the bourgeoisie and the Anglican church. I mean, I'm just going to accept that. Bourgeoisie are still marginalized for now. Anglican church is not. It'd be great if they were. Oops. I gotta keep it on. No, stop. Okay, pause so that this doesn't change as I go. Yeah, Manitoba market access is still pretty poor. And we this uh, construction production keeps fluctuating because of just rounding that happens. Okay, I think we'll probably assume more logging camps. It's overall still profitable. We're building more industries that um, support it. I might still want more economies of scale. So we still, Ontario, Quebec, still predicted profit from these. We'll get those going on. We might expand over here as well. We'll probably want more bureaucracy at some point as well. Opponents of land voted, called for attention, past abuses of the regime. Power corrupts. Okay, this is going to tank the popularity of two people, but dramatically increase the chance of passing it. Or, okay, we get a chance to pass it more regardless. Um, Katz, who are you? You're linked to... You support Intelligentsia, and Simpson is Industrialist. I don't really want to lower the popularity of those two factions, so I'm going to do this. Success chance is high enough as is, so we're going to be fine. Okay. Ah. Okay, central banking, great stuff. What's less great is the United States has finished all its colonization here, and they're actually eating into over here. Almost certainly, they're going to go and grab a bunch of this territory, and I'll be just annoyed forever. It's okay. We'll just have to declare war on them later on for daring to take some of Alberta and Manitoba, or Saskatchewan. Manitoba's fine. Because actually, um, to be able to ultimately push, or not push, but finish Confederate Canada, uh, we have to own nine provinces, or states, sorry, in, in the game terms. Nine states have to be fully owned by me. And I think we're going to need, uh, because Newfoundland is owned by Great Britain, by certain amounts. So I think we're going to need either Saskatchewan or Alberta to be able to complete the full confederation event. And that's not going to happen if the U.S. owns, say, this. I'm not sure we're going to be able to avoid it. Have I... I don't have better institution for colonization, right? No. I'm maxed out on that. That's one of the reasons I was researching quinine. Well, that's timely. Because now I can go up another tier in colonial affairs, try to get a bit more growth, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Um, I don't know why I don't have vision in the past. Oh, if I switch to them, I can check their numbers. Look, they've already eaten here. They, because they are, so we're sitting at like 0.4. They're probably doing something like 8.0 or some ridiculous number like that. They're eating this so fast. 
That is that is disappointing. Okay, we're gonna go back over to production. Bessemer process is for iron making, which is not gonna be relevant to us right now. We do have a glass works, we could do this. I'm actually wondering about just picking up railways. It's going to do wonderful things for us. It's going to add infrastructure to Manitoba, um, but it's also going to free up tons of workers, which is kind of something we need right now. Although, again, I keep thinking, isn't chemical plants a thing? Chemical plants. Do we need a tech? Oh, we need intensive agriculture to build that. You know what? I think that's the thing to do then. We're going to go for intensive agriculture. That'll unlock the chemical plants. Okay. And I think we are going to do a fair amount of like farming and ranching. Right now we're still making lots with wood. But we should actually keep an eye on um, the staple goods especially. Oh no, grains currently isn't super pricey. We have more sell orders than buy orders on grain. Okay. And same with fish. Which right now is good for our grocery industry, the food processor. That might change. Yeah, I'm a little salty about this. I don't think there's anything I can do to stop the U.S. from colonizing this, unfortunately. I can't declare war early. Um, I, I, in theory, I'm doing everything I can, I, as far as I know, to boost how quickly we colonize. But yeah, it's just a, sort of a pop-limited thing. Um... I guess if we had more incorporated pops, then we'd colonize a little faster, but even then, it's just, like, at a fraction of the speed. I could start slowly incorporating these guys. I really need another level of bureaucracy. Yeah, let's build a second tier of government administration here in Quebec, so that we get more bureaucracy. I think that's going to be really important for us. All right, well, we'll go ahead and put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode of our Let's Play of Victoria 3 as Canada, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.